Once the construction is complete, now it is time for the ongoing operations and maintenance phase. This is the phase in which every project goal, all the assumptions that were made during the design, and the performance of all the building systems should be continuously verified in order to ensure high building performance. In order to establish a successful operations and maintenance phase, a system needs to be created with the following activities creating a loop. 1. Audit. 2. Plan. 3. Measure. 4. Adjust and back to the audit. The lead operations and maintenance certification, which will be discussed in the following sections, is all about ensuring an efficient ongoing building performance. And since operations and maintenance phase continue for the whole life of the project, projects pursuing this certification need to get recertification every five years in order not to lose their LEED O&M certificate. The key to understanding whether the building is performing sustainably is to track and evaluate data that the building systems provide. If there is a building automation system in place, the real-time data it provides can show opportunities for energy and water savings and can point out a problem in a particular part of a building. Without such data, it would be impossible to track building operations. This is the reason why individual energy meters, individual water meters, a building automation system, and tracking devices are needed to successfully operate a building. Additionally, to reveal problems, the following types of inspections can be conducted. 1. Retro commissioning, which is a systematic process for analyzing and optimizing building system performance. 2. Energy and water audits. 3. Solid waste audits. 4. Occupant surveys. And 5. Green purchasing and green housekeeping program assessments. In addition, Orientation and training of the building personnel and occupants should be repeatedly conducted as tenants and personnel change and new lessons are learned. Educating building occupants about the green features of the building and sustainable practices can encourage them to participate in sustainable building operations. Continuous feedback from all the building users and personnel is needed to discover potentials for improvement. The success of the operations and maintenance phase will depend on the following principles. Start early. Find the right team and create the right system. Understand the system across time and space. Develop measurable goals. Follow an iterative process to achieve goals and commit to continuous improvement. With that being said, we can now summarize the whole integrated process under three main phases. 1. Discovery phase, which is the most important phase that also includes pre-design to ensure green building goals are set early and cost-effectively. The risks are identified and the triple bottom line of the project is assessed. A system is created which enables the efficient collaboration of every participant in the project. The location of the project is well chosen and applicable codes and standards have been evaluated. The level of LEED certification aimed and its requirements are thoroughly considered in this phase. Life cycle cost, life cycle assessment, and computer modeling of the project are used to evaluate different strategies and alternatives. 2. Design and construction phase. In this phase, the system continues to work, and charrettes, team meetings, small task groups, and stakeholder meetings are continuously conducted. Necessary actions required to protect the construction workers, building occupants, neighborhood, and the surrounding environment from the construction pollution have been taken. The green building goals are turned into reality, with the exception of maintaining them throughout the whole life cycle of the building. All the requirements for LEED certification are documented. The project team conducts both the training and orientation of the building operations personnel. And 3. Occupancy Operations and Performance Feedback Phase. This is the last phase, which the performance of all the building systems should be checked throughout the lifetime of the building. In this phase, the data that the building systems provide are monitored and evaluated. 
Orientation and training of the building personnel and occupants are conducted repeatedly as tenants and personnel change and new lessons are learned. Building occupants are educated about the green features of the building and sustainable practices. Continuous feedback from all the building users and personnel are being received, and the system continues for the whole life of the building.